नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्वासंदा भगवदीते भगवेशिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू पार्थ अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शॉवर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डियालिज्म अद्वैत कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स Oh my affectionate mother the destroyer of rebirth i meditate upon thee now krishna vandana vasudev sutam devam kansa chanura mardanam devakim paramanandam krishnam vande jagat gurum oh krishna the son of vasudev slayer of kansa and chanur extreme delight for mother devaki o supreme teacher of the universe o god my salutations to you so today we uh, we are going to read the ninth shloka of the karma yoga the third adhyaya the third chapter of uh, shrimad bhagavad gita shri krishna is now telling arjuna how to perform the karma and earlier krishna has told us that everybody is engaged in obligatory work whether they are willing or not those bodily functions those the karma in the form of those unavoidable bodily functions are still going on you cannot run away nobody in this world no living being on this earth can escape those preliminary bodily functions there is no escape from karma as such you have to do now as you evolve in this uh, uh, the, the the on this earthly plane from lower animals to higher animal to and ultimately to the human being the so called intelligent animal that type of works they keep on uh, changing the 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 type of work that is done also gets evolved from the basic preliminary bodily activities to the higher realm of activities then only apart from eating sleeping and uh, uh, the, those uh, basic physical functions we get up into some higher levels of actions now shri krishna says uh, about uh, those kind of higher levels of actions that uh, the the i mean uh, as the, the the species they evolve they keep on taking up those and those to be performed in which manner that also shri krishna is going to tell us the greatness of yajna sacrifice the karma as yajna यज्ञार्थात् कर्मणो अन्यत्र लोको यम कर्म बंधन तदर्थ कर्म कौंते मुक्त संग सचर टू कौंते टू द सन ऑफ कुंती टू अर्जुन श्री कृष्ण इज गिविंग दिस एडवाइस यज्ञार्थात् यज्ञ इज एन एक्ट ऑफ सैक्रिफाइस it can be it expressed in various ways like actually performing that homa kind of thing and sacrificing some animal or giving up something into that uh, fire hmm. that that is a, a symbolic yajna now uh, on on the intellectual plane whatever we do for as as sacrifice to the lord that also is yajna giving up desires 
that is also a sacrifice. Controlling the sense, senses, the mind controlling the senses away from the sense objects, that is also a yajna, that is also a great sacrifice, that is leading one towards one's ultimate reality. So, Sri Krishna is telling, for the sake of sacrifice, yadnyarthat, karmanaha of action, anyatra, otherwise, lokaha, the world, ayam, this, ayam lokaha, this world, karma bandhanaha, is bound by action. Sri Krishna is telling this world is bound by actions even other than those which are the form of sacrifice. Yadnya, we are performing some karma. But Krishna says there are also other types of karma. This entire world is bound by those actions, by those duties, by those doings which are different from the sacrific sacrificial karma. Like the basic physical needs, eating, sleeping and all those things, they come, they don't come as yajna. So Sri Krishna says, the entire world is bound by those kind of activities which are totally different from actual acts of sacrifice. The act of sacrifice, the yajna, takes us on a much, much, much higher plane. We give up this, we give up desires, we give up attachments, all those giving up, all that sacrifice gets termed as yajna. And Sri Krishna says, while all the world, hmm, while the, the, the entire world is bound by actions other than those performed during these yajnas. Hmm. Tadartham karma kaunteya. Tad, tadartham. Tadartham is uh, for that sake. For its sake. Karma, action. Do action. Do, do karma kaunteya. O kaunteya, O son of Kunti, O Arjun. So therefore, for the sake of doing karma, doing uh, yajna, perform your activity and how? Mukta Sangaha Samachara. Mukta Sangaha. Sangaha is attachment. Mukta Sangaha, free from attachment. Do your yajna karma. Do that, do perform that sacrificial duty of in fact, for Arjuna at this point of time on the Mahakuru Kurukshetra, fighting against his evil minded cousins who have been doing such great amount of atrocities, the unlawful, uh, unrighteous activities, getting rid of them is the true karma for Arjuna. For that is a great yajna for Arjuna that he is going to sacrifice all that evil which is actually deteriorating the entire society. Getting rid of that evil, sacrificing that evil, that itself is the act of yajna for Arjuna and Shri Krishna is telling Tadartham Mukta Sangha, free from attachment, Samachara, perform that karma. What a great advice Krishna has given. Yes, the whole world is uh, uh, engaged in actions and all the lower forms of uh, living beings and even those human beings who are not on the spiritual path, they are, also, they are all doing the karmas which are far different from the sacrificial acts for that matter, from different from the yatnya giving up, sacrifice, sacrifice, tyaga. Now, 
while entire world is busy doing all those basic physical duties other than the yajna o kaunteya get detached and free from attachment do your act of sacrifice that you are going to perform now that you are supposed to perform which you are running away at the moment so uh, uh swami chidbhavanand ji has given a long uh, uh, explanation on this uh, basic physical activities that uh, how uh, different uh, you know uh, uh, sections of living beings from primary level to the higher highest evolved level how how they keep on how the how they are working uh, the the, act, the the acts of karma keep on changing competition the lower order of a creation exists by sheer competition for them there is no sacrifice as as you, you look at the animal kingdom for that matter excluding human beings the so called intelligent uh, animal you look at all lower uh, category of uh, animal kingdom their survival is only to leave all their their entire focus is somehow to survive survival of the fittest the fit subjects in those species they survive the weaklings they perish now as these animals the, this animal kingdom evolves the this notion of survival of the fittest gets evolved also this notion also gets evolved now it is not only survival of the fittest then it becomes survival of the intelligent survival of the capable so, and as even among the human beings as the beings progress forward on the spiritual path ultimately it is again the survival of the fittest from the different perspective the one who has realized the goal of life he is the ultimate winner for others it is again coming and going coming and going the cycle continues but uh, the civilization of man is mainly based on his gregarious instinct how he has to improve how he has to go along on this spiritual path man is a social being though corporate life uh, intelligent cooperation gains ground in this particular phase now there is all a camaraderie hmm, there is one person teaching another do this don't do that and then the 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 concept of ethics the concept of morality also takes birth here as the uh, you know the, the the animal kingdom evolves to the level of human beings and then for that particular species for that particular uh, uh, stage stage of life in the animal kingdom at that stage it is not only the basic duties but something higher something higher than eating sleeping making uh, uh, you know uh, reproducing children there is something higher and that something higher that is what shri krishna is telling that while the entire world is busy in those basic actions other than sacrificial acts varjuna you start you perform that sacrifice you perform that action in unattached manner free from any attachment a uh, meritorious act untainted by selfishness disinterested service work of any kind performed for general welfare adoration of the almighty ethical and spiritual endeavors all these salutary activities are contained in yajna 
Yajna is not, uh, I mean, Sri Krishna's understanding, telling to Arjuna about word Yajna is not just the, the, the obligatory, you know, those ritualistic worship in the fire, you swaha, swaha, swaha. No, that is not the only Yajna. But anything you do with the attitude of sacrifice, which takes you God word, that is uh, Yajna. And for Arjuna at this moment, the war, the righteous war is going to be the great Yajna. And that is what he should understand. What is his objective? Why he has been born? He, 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 is, he is beyond those people. He is beyond those living beings who can only perform the basic fundamental physical activities. Is much above and he has to realize what is his real duty. Uh, it is the attitude that transforms the soul entangling karma into soul emanci emancipating yajna. Convert that ordinary karma into a sacrificial act. Divinity reveals itself best where yajna takes place, wherever there is sacrifice, wherever there is tyaga, wherever there is giving up, not taking, wherever there is giving up, there the word yajna, it stands out. Now, on this particular uh, uh, advice of Sri Krishna, the similar uh, teaching of Sri Ram Krishna, he lives in vain, who does not utilize his human birth which is very rare to obtain for the attainment of divinity. These are the words of Sri Ramakrishna. Like uh, Sri Krishna has told Arjuna, get to the act of yajna, perform this yajna. The opportunity has come to you. And be above, be above than those uh, beings who are doing or who are so busy, who are so much engaged in performing those basic fundamental physical activities which are totally different from the sacrificial concept. And therefore Sri Ramakrishna says that a person lives in vain. If, if a person living in this human body, in this temple of God, if he is not engaged in any kind of sacrificial act leading him towards divinity, leading him to know his divine nature, that life is in vain. That life, that life of a human being is just like the life of any animal of a lower level in the animal kingdom. It only focuses physical bodily enjoyments and somehow survive. That's it. No evolution. It is just survival of the moment, for the moment, for the that particular time being. So that is uh, that is about uh, this ninth uh, verse, the ninth shloka of uh, Karma Yoga. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Sri Krishna Arpanamastu. Jai Sri Ram Krishna. Jai Thakur. Jai Ma. Jai Swamiji.